Hey guys, how's it going? I have something to discuss real quick before we get onto the video. Um, I'm actually am now gonna be posting one video a day. Yes, a day. I really want to boost up this channel and get it going, so I'm gonna be posting one video every single day except maybe weekends. And if I miss one day, I am gonna have to do something bad, and I'm gonna count how many days I do miss. So at the end of the month, I have to do a dare. Post a dare in the comments, and, or, if, or if you guys choose not to post a dare in the comments, then I'll just make up a dare myself, and then I will have to do it. So guys, let's get on to the video. Starting off the first processor, we have the Intel Core i3-4150. Guys, this is for those high rollers out there who are really maxing out their potential for the PCs. So this is not for a budget build this is for like I mean I, w I want the strongest computer out there but this this is the Intel Core i3-4150 for a solid price of $105 US euros UK I don't really know how that works but <clears throat> sorry there in the in the US it's $105 this features dual core which is very useful for gaming this will run pretty much I think any game you throw at it yes it will run any game you throw at it acts as a quad Core, which is pretty pretty good. Um, it's a core for Windows for all your Windows users out there. You could get Linux, you know, all everything you want. Of course, this has hyper threading. I mean, duh, duh. Running at a solid 3.5 gigahertz, and yes, it is over. I believe overclockable to 4 gigahertz, which is very useful, especially for those overclockers over there with those good coolers, getting those clock speeds up. Uh, it, it is from Haswell, pretty good. It has three megabyte cache. I still cannot pronounce it. I really have to figure this out, how to pronounce that. It it definitely, definitely, any day will beat out the FX 6300 for sure. I saw the benchmarks. I saw everything there. And I'm pretty sure that you'll be just fine with with this if you're gaming. And this is build is for if you're a high roller and if you really want the best of the best PCs. Now, let's get on to the next thing. The next processor is the AMD FX 8320E. For a solid price of $130, you get 8 cores and of course it's overclockable. 8 cores is not only good for gaming, it is also good for um, you know, other daily tasks, if you're going to make a YouTube channel, you c this is good for um, editing and recording. Sorry if my mic was way too close to my face. I just have to talk louder. I'm sorry if, like, it's popping a lot. It's a Versha 2012, 3.5 gigahertz. You could overclock it up to 4 or um, 4.0 gigahertz, gigahertz or more, depending on what kind of cooler you have. has 8 millibyte um, catchy still can't pronounce that guys I am sorry um, I'll figure out how to pronounce that later <laughs> at another time and guys if you make sure your motherboards are compatible with the um, processor you are getting but for now for the AMD make sure to get an AMD and all that. for AMD build this is like one of the top things you can get without blowing your freaking bank statements all the way freaking up <clears throat> so this would be good yes for a gaming processor pretty well AMD FX 8320E, pretty easy to remember. So next time you go up to that store, ask for this if you're doing an AMD build. Now let's get on to the next thing. Next thing is the Intel Core i5. Yes, Intel Core i5. It was not in my budget build for some reason. It is an Intel Core i5 40 from um, 4590 for a solid price of 187 dollars. You get the quad core, of course. You get the 33 point. I'm sorry. You get 3.3 gigahertz, overclockable up to 
3.7 gigahertz member. You need a good cooler for that. It's from Haswell, of course. No, it says Haswell here. It has six um, megabyte cache. Still don't, still don't know what this is. Um, other places will be $200 right here on, I think, Newegg, I believe. It is about... Yeah, depending on where you go, it's it's really going to be... Um, Micro Center has it for about 180 right now, which is a very good deal, rather than 187. But this is for those high rollers out there, so if it's not, I guess it'll be fine for you. Um, this is like one of the best $200 i5s you can get. I mean, like really, this is like the best i5 you can get, I believe. Oh nope, I lied. <laughs> There's an Intel Core i5 40, 40, um, 469, um, 0K. For a solid price of two hundred and twenty-eight dollars, it is a quad-core, three point five gigahertz, pretty good clock speed. Um, it can be overclocked to four four hertz or higher, or lower around there. So this would be great for gaming and editing. Either one, six me uh, mega megabyte cache, of course. Has well, don't know why it's closed. Though. It's overclockable, of course, and it's the standard high max. Um, for gaming CPU, I mean, like, if you want to max out your settings, get a badass graphics card and a good processor like this one, and you'll be playing any game high settings in no time. Intel Core i5, this one is pretty much more expensive than the last um, um, i5 I was talking about. Um, but I guarantee you this will be just fine. Um, seeing here... Oh, crud. This is, uh, not seeing hyper-threading here, but I do believe it has hyper-threading. It should, I believe, have hyper-threading. Oh, uh, well, I don't think it does not. Okay, yeah, I'm not too sure if it has hyper-threading or not. Um, let me search that up real quick, actually. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I can't right now. Um, so, yeah, you'll get this Intel Core i5-4690K for a solid price of $228. Now, let's get on to the last one, which is, like, one of the most expensive fucking processors. Sorry for cussing. I've ever freaking seen in my life. This is the Intel Core i7. Yes, the i7 Extreme 5960X Edition. For $1,000, you can get the, the Intel Core i7 Extreme 5960X. Guys, I mean, if you want to completely max out your settings, no lag at all. <clears throat> and you, if you want a solid editing computer, this is the CPU for you, rich boy, whoever's getting this. Um, me, once my channel picks up, I'm <laughs> there's a chance I might get this. Not really. I'll probably get the <clears throat> probably get the other i7s for this, just because of the reviews I've heard on them. But yes, guys, let me tell you guys up more about this. Um, l let me tell you the 5960X gaming performances. It clearly smashes all of them. The i7 5960K, <coughs> the um, um, i7 4770K, it smashes everything you got here. I mean, what else? This is for Metro last night. This is the benchmarks. <coughs> for Bioshock Infinite, um, what's it called? The i7 5960X. Running at 4.2 gigahertz still smashes all of the other processors just by the uh, even the i7 5960X smashes it just by a little bit, but I mean it's still smashing it. And these were both running it for the Metro last night and for Bioshock Infinite. We're both running for 1920 time um, by 1080p, guys. That is not some lightweight stuff. There's not some Intel Pentium shit. I mean this is like the top of the top list. Um. Cool this game. Is it, it's eight core, yeah, guys, eight freaking core. It's overclockable, of course. Haswell E, 20 MB cache. <clears throat> Let me tell you, this. all the other ones had six. This one has 20. Imagine how fast that is. <clears throat> this is the most important thing. Kick and supply, four-way SLI and crossfire. That is very important to some people. <clears throat> to me, it really is. It has core scaling with DirectX 12. DirectX, yeah, everyone knows about it, is pretty much the boss and everything there. Um, 
it can achieve the most FPS in games. Um, how do I put this? You just saw, I just told you about the benchmarks. It fucked everything else up. I mean, you're not going to get a higher um, one than this. I mean, I'm just going to leave it there. You're, guys, this is a $1,000 CPU. I mean, it's going to be good. It's a $1,000 CPU. It's going to work well. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember, I am posting one video a day. Yes, fellas, a day. So, I hope everything goes well. Happy holidays. I know many holidays just passed and more holidays to come. For me, I have three weeks of school left and then the fucking holidays. It's going to be a while. I'm going to be posting a video every single day. Remember that so I can get my ch my channel growing. Share this on everything you got. And if you don't want to, that's a fine. I understand if this video sucks. Yes, hit that dislike button. It does not really offend me because that would just push me to make my videos higher quality. So if you like that um, like button, it will still push me to make my videos more high quality. So either when you press, my videos are still going to get higher in quality because that will still motivate me. So yeah, guys, I'm ending the video here because it's about to be um, 10 minutes. <laughs> it's about to be at 11 minutes. So yeah, guys, I'm ending the video here. Hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Took me a lot of time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Happy holidays, of course.